Well, Chief James Craig isn't the only one dropping some big hints about his political future. There are several names surfacing as potential challengers to Governor Whitmer in the 2022 election. But which ones are for real and who's just kicking the tires? Grant Herms takes us through the list so far. So far, we're talking about 12 names. They're the six who have declared already. They include the long shots, the potentially serious ones. Then there are the names of those who said they're out, but their names keep coming up. There's also the entertainer and the ones that everyone is still waiting on. Of the six already running, there are some known names in conservative circles. Garrett Saldano is the co-chair of the Unlock Michigan group, adamantly opposed to Governor Whitmer's handling of the pandemic with close ties to Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky, who we'll talk about in a second. Tudor Dixon is a conservative commentator who announced her candidacy this week. She's a well-known face among the GOP base with a radio and online show on a right-wing network. She's been a frequent critic of Whitmer's and a loyalist to former President Trump, posting this picture with him earlier this month. Then there's the entertainer, Stephen Crowder, a far-right agitator known for making extreme and controversial remarks on his own online show. He floated the idea of running back in February. State Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky has pulled his name from the race and former Congresswoman Candace Miller has too, although she's been floated as a possible running mate on a ticket. Then there are the ones who haven't said they'd run. Former State Speaker Lee Chatfield hasn't said he won't run, only that he hasn't thought about it. Two-time Senate candidate John James is also on this list. James is frequently talked about but has lost two statewide elections already, potentially hurting his chances for another run. And maybe the biggest name Republicans are keeping an eye on is soon to be former Detroit Police Chief James Craig. Craig hasn't announced any run yet, but Republican sources tell Local 4 he has met with the Republican Governors Association and the head of the Michigan GOP. A crowded field of potential hopefuls with election season not far off. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4. Meantime, the latest polling shows Whitmer ahead of Craig by just six points. On top of that, the governor's favorability is at 48 percent, and the number of people who said she deserves to be reelected sits at 46 percent.